Hello, everyone, and welcome to From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm your host for the night, John Lewandowski. Our show is brought to you by the folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. All right, so tonight we have two games for you. We have the Florida Everblades at the Atlanta Gladiators, and we have the St. Louis Blues at the Nashville Predators. Uh, tonight we're going to start with Florida and Atlanta. Shots on goal in the first period of Florida outshoots Atlanta 15-6. to In the second period, both teams had 10 shots. In the third period, both teams had 10 shots. And in total, Florida outshoots Atlanta 35 to 26. On the power play, Florida goes 0 for 5 with 6 minutes 3 infractions, while Atlanta goes 0 for 2 with 10 minutes 5 infractions. Scoring in the first period for Florida at the 11-16 mark is a goal by Zach Owens, assisted by Josh Hosang and Zach Berzola. Then in the second period, Florida scores at the 628 mark with a goal by Bobo Carpenter, assisted by a Ben Brar. Then at the 949 mark of the second period, Atlanta scores with a goal from Parker O'Coin, assisted by Reese Vitelli. In the third period, at the 32nd mark, Florida scores with a goal from Cole Moberg. Assisted by Joe Pendenza and Reese Zmolek. Then at the 1950 mark on an empty net, Florida scores with a goal from Mark Senden, assisted by Josh Hosang and Sean Jossling. Florida wins 4 to 1 over the Atlanta Gladiators tonight. In goal for Florida was Johnson. Um, going 25 of 26, and in goal for Atlanta was Boyko going 31 of 34. All right, now we get on to the St. Louis Blues and Nashville Predators. The Predators going into this game are on a three-game losing streak, in the season series, um, in the first game, Nashville beat St. Louis 8-3 to on November 24th. In the second game, Nashville beat St. Louis 5-2 to on February 17th, which brings us to today's game. Shots on goal in the first period, St. Louis outshot Nashville 20-10. to In the second period, St. Louis outshot Nashville 14-10. to in the third period, St. Louis outshot Nashville 13 to 11, and in total, St. Louis outshoots Nashville 47 to 31. Um, Nashville was better in the faceoff circle at 55% to 45%. On the power play, St. Louis goes one for six with 10 penalty minutes, while Nashville goes two for three with 16 penalty minutes. St. Louis out hit Nashville 28 to 19. Both teams had 19 blocked shots. Nashville had 12 giveaways to St. Louis's five, and Nashville had six takeaways to St. Louis's four. Scoring in the first period for Nashville, 31 seconds in was Roman Yossi scoring his 20th of the year, assisted by O'Reilly, his 37th, and Forsberg, his 44th. Then at the 727 mark for St. Louis, Brandon Saad scores his 26th of the year, assisted by Thomas, his 52nd. Then in the second period at the 113 mark, Philip Forsberg scores his 42nd of the year on the power play, assisted by Nyquist, his 47th, and O'Reilly, his 38th. Then at the 1929 mark in the second period, Anthony Bolivier scores his fifth on the power play, assisted by Nyquist, his 48th, and Evangelista, his 19th. So we go to the third period. At the 409 mark, 
for Nashville. Michael McCarron scores his 12th of the year, assisted by Shearwood, his 15th. And at the 621 mark for St. Louis, Jake Neighbor scores his 27th, assisted by Folk, his 27th, and Krug, his 34th. And at the 1745 mark on the power play, St. Louis scores the goal from Jordan Cairo, his 26th of the year, assisted by Folk, his 28th, and Buchnevich, his 33rd. Then at the 18-16 mark for Nashville, Philip Forsberg scores his 43rd of the year on an empty net, assisted by Nyquist, his 49th, and McDonough, his 26th. Uh, Forsberg ties Duchesne at 43 goals in a season. Um, he needs one more to break the franchise record for goals in a season. Then at the 1923 mark for Nashville, Mark Jankowski scores his seventh of the season, shorthanded on an empty net, unassisted. The Nashville Predators win six to three. Uh, overall, it was a really good game, I thought, by the Predators. I thought in the first period they could have played a little bit better, but they bounced back. Uh, Sorrows came up huge in this game for them. For the Blues, uh, Bingington was a net, stopping uh, 29 of 25. And for the Predators, UC Saros was a net, stopping 44 of 47. Your three stars of the game, um, Olivier is third star with a goal, no assists, and a point. Second star, UC Saros, and first star, Philip Forsberg, with two goals, an assist, and three points. Um, I think that is all I have for you. Like I said, it was a good game, uh, and we just got to keep uh, – Keep a winning attitude now as the playoffs um, are coming up shortly, and hopefully we get in. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching. Again, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the folks at Hockey Locker. Thank you, and have a wonderful night.